Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the bird's eye view. I am Warduck, and uh, we are here with Mr. Crow. Crow! All right. Mr. Crow, so, what's up, everybody? So, uh, we have a Karen uh, writer um, of this Nest <laughs> article, and so we thought we'd bring it because it just kind of cracked me up a little bit, and I thought it was is, is pretty funny. So, um... I wish we had enough power to just be like, let's go spam look at their comments and like get real reviews going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this Karen uh, went on vacation and then uh, had it ruined in her, you know, the Karen way, and so I had to write an article about it. So yeah. here we go. So, um, <laughs> so Beach Girl what a way to be ruined after witnessing an event that say ruined their vacation. This is so gross and frustrating. Uh, Jill here. Um, it says, uh, is the era of truly peaceful vacation over? One rather spotted unskippable ads during their recent South Florida vacation, ruining their otherwise uh, quiet beach day. She wanted to swipe. <laughs> so, so they were at the beach and somebody flew some air uh, banners. I forgot what they call them, air banners or... Anyway, the uh, ones aerial towed, banners, the ones like that, towed aerial. behind the airplanes. I've always thought these were cool. Ever since I was a little kid, yep. I just thought it was yeah. cool, you know, to watch some plane towing some big old sign. Whatever it said, it didn't really matter. But this one, this one says, um, "You can't ad block me," and or you can't <laughs> ad block this, and then it has a big QR code. Now, one of the things she was challenged. Yeah, one of the comments in here is, can you even scan that? I bet you could, especially if you took a picture of it. I bet you could. Not that I would, but I could. And then there's another one that says, shoot machine I'm guns. actually curious. She took a picture, and I'm going to see if I can actually scan it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it. I got it. <laughs> because she took a picture, I got it. All right, well. <laughs> um. This is the it's video awesome. shared uh, anti-consumption subreddit shows that the aerial ad flying just off the shore with a giant QR code caption. You can't ad block this. I think that's incredibly clever myself. It's clever. You can't ad like block it. Yeah. that. That's pretty funny to me. And uh, and even it if it bothered me, I would just look away. Like like you're like yeah. Like really like if. It ruined your whole vacation because they flew around for five, maybe ten minutes, and then had to go get gas. Well, I right? I think if I remember right too, at least when I was on vacation near in my well, Florida, it was it can only fly around for so long. They they can't be there all day. You know, they can't just and you, and you're right too. They probably had to go refuel and stuff, but they're only there for a little while. Like you said, maybe ten minutes, which is two flybys. Yeah, so this Karen got on the Not Reddit and was super pissed about it. And then they were like, um, what about the pollution and negative impact oh, the God. air quality, and particularly in dense populated areas? Well, if you're in a dense populated area, the plane that's mm -hmm. 10,000 feet up probably isn't going to give you any... It's probably not what you should be worried about. Pollution doesn't fall. Uh, they also require use of dirty energy sources. Um, okay, well, I sure hope this lady drove an electric to electronic car. airplanes. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. I hope they didn't drive she, to the beach. If, if this woman drove to the beach, of course she I did. Would, it's she's I would on love vacation. To rip her to she flew down somewhere on vacation. She flew there, and then she drove herself from the hotel yes. to the beach. <laughs> And so, yeah, but she's mad about the, the air and, uh, right? So, th honestly, that's what this whole thing, this whole article is simply, you know, the, just how upset it's they are me. that they had to see this. See, so really what it is, is she the ad block that it. says you can't ad block it. Karen freaked out about it. And that's really what this whole thing is about. Is... And I'm just going to throw this out there, too. She was on vacation. How many of us are able to go on a vacation lately? For real. And and if something happens like 10 minutes, you know, like like it ruined your whole vacation because somebody flew an ad and you couldn't help. But see, you couldn't help yourself but to look at it. 
And that made you even more mad because the sign says you can't ad block me and that made her more mad. So she's like totally caring out and then got on the Reddit because when she got home. I've, oh my God. I've kind of gotten, I'm not me personally, but I have a very good knowledge of someone who went on a vacation and probably had their vacation ruined because something happened to their vehicle. They were stuck camping a little longer than they wanted to maybe an extra week i've heard some and situations places, like that before yeah like the they had to get their car worked on and, and it cost thousands more dollars than what it was expected they weren't they weren't able to get the parts in on time and i heard i'm sure you could get a, a like vehicle that. or i <laughs> i'm sure you, your vacation can get ruined a little bit worse than a flyby and even, for 10 and even minutes. though that cost me five thousand extra dollars and an extra <laughs> week's vacation that didn't ruin our trip it really didn't huh. like it sucked i'm not saying it didn't suck and i still work an overtime yeah. to pay for it but um like that didn't ruin our vacation there was parts in there that sucked more than others um but in the overall like for me like we had a great time we were with the family the extra few days that it took us, we met some fantastic people that helped us out. And nobody got hurt. We made it home. Nobody got hurt. There was no major, 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 you know, like that, like tens of thousands of dollars of, of issues. Um, and sure, it sucked, but it didn't ruin our vacation. That's I mean, that's the thing is, is this something this small ruined your vacation? What about the people God that issue. what about the people that are in Maui, you know? Yeah. And and we're stuck in this wildfire situation. May have lost relatives or whatever when they were there because they had no notice. And the the local government there wasn't trying to help. What about those folks? Maybe they were on vacation and, and this is and this is so trivial when you look at things like that. Like and for me it's like yeah. As long as nobody got hurt and we were together and, and then for me, you really can't ruin my vacation unless something drastic happens like that. I mean, sure, there was parts of my vacation that were better than other parts of the vacation. But in the end, yeah. like it didn't ruin it by any means. Like we still do the same thing and we still go and do it over again. And I'm thinking, too. Really, she was on vacation. She was probably on the beach and just kind of soaking in the sun. You know, that gives you cancer. Hopefully she had yeah. on her lotion. But yeah, it is a whole other thing. But really, like, how much did this... Drinking and, out of her plastic bottle. <laughs> yeah, with a metal straw or no. Metal, th those cause more problems. Yeah. If you come to find. But it's... Yeah, I mean, it, like, really, were you there for literally one day and that ruined your vacation like you have issues but you, went to, you were vacation, only allowed to go to the beach days. for 10 minutes and that thing and that flew over the whole time you were at the beach for 10 minutes and then that ruined your vacation because the whole point of you flying down there driving your gas powered car drinking your uh, plastic water bottle and then throwing it away uh for 10 minutes at the beach and they flew a damn sign in front of your face that you couldn't yeah, have if this yeah i could i can't even see i was gonna say i could see if like i flew out to florida never been to the beach before and i wanted to experience but even then no it's a new experience like you, it's no different than these people going to the public and and recording their tiktok or their shorts or something mm -hmm. right and yeah. somebody somebody walks in front of their camera in a public space and they're like oh Ruined my whole TikTok. Well, I have to record my whole TikTok all over again because somebody walked in a public spot. It's like, the fuck are you really? Yeah. It's like, wow. It's the entitlement is insane. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. There it is. It's the world. I'm sorry. It doesn't revolve around you. You are of the world. We're all here together. Unless you're it's a Karen, then apparently it revolves around you and your localized space, but nobody else cares. <laughs> yeah crazy crazy <laughs> I, I don't know what to uh, this the more i think about it the more i just like no like, lady 
Bill. Go get go on another vacation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're Jeez. gonna we just thought we'd bring that uh, hilarious action to you. Um, so if you think um, that uh, this Karen should just suck it up and go away, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. See you next time, everyone. Bye.